Hi Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at adding custom field content to the Genesis loop. Now there's at least two ways you can do this and the code for both methods is included in this tutorial. The first method involves adding the code directly to a template file in the root directory of your child theme and the second method involves adding the code to your child themes functions file and using the conditional tag to target the specific archive page loop where you want to add your custom field content. So let's take a look at using both. So we've got the code here. This code here is added directly to a template file. So we'll go into our demo site and I'm using the Lifestyle Pro theme by Studio Press, and here's our template file. So in this case, we're going to target the category archive named demo. So I've added three posts to this archive page loop, and you can see them here. And we want to add the custom field content within the loop for each entry in the archive. So here's the uh, here's the template which includes the code. Um, we need to target the category name demo. So we just rename that category demo. So WordPress uses the uh, template hierarchy to load this template only on the category name demo, which is this archive page here. So let's have a look inside the file and we've added the code inside the file and the code executes in the genesis entry content hook uh, position within the loop and here's our code to add a custom field the name for the custom field is key so we need to create we need to go in the edit post screen for one of the the entries and we need to create a custom field named key and add some content so we go down to the custom field section, we create a new custom field name key. We've just added some demo HTML in here for an image, so that'll display an, an image named custom field. Okay, so we've added that there. We'll load the archive loop, and we can see here's the custom field content has been added uh, within the loop for this entry. And we can do the same for any other entry by using exactly the same method. So that's the method to use um, if you want to add the, the code directly to the file, template file. So let's just remove that. We can also use this in the functions file. So we've removed that code. If we reload, it's gone. So that image that we added to the custom field is gone now. So we can add the code to the functions file. So we go down here, we need a conditional tag. Um, let's just add one here. If is category demo, return. So this will target the category archive for demo and add our custom field content which we add in the custom field uh, meta box named key. So we save that. We've already created the custom field so now that we've got the code set up correctly it will load right here. So there's the image that we added before. So that shows you two methods of how to add custom field content to any type of archive page loop in Genesis. You'll find more code um, in one of my latest posts named add custom field to Genesis loop. There's code here to control the pagination. So if you want to control the pagination for a uh, custom post type or in any type of uh, archive page, you can use this code, which uses a pre get post function. And there's also a demo video which explains um, usage of uh, adding custom field content to custom post types.
and in this case we use the portfolio post type and uh, you can use this code um, with with code that you've used to create the CPT or with the Genesis Portfolio Pro uh, plugin. So thanks for watching. All